We're STV and we're here now with Ethan Hulon, who's running for the position of Welfare Officer and Vice President of the Students' Union this year. So tell us, Eva, why are you running for this position? Um, tricky enough question. I think, like, I kind of, I'm sitting on the exec this year and I got really involved with the Students' Union and just basically with, with the campaigns that we ran and everything that was going on, I became more and more interested and I suppose I saw a lot of what DEC did throughout the year as well and just thought it was just so worthwhile and so valuable and I think I wanted to, to have a go at it myself, really. You know, when you, start, when you start getting involved and when you start caring enough, you say to yourself, yeah, this is something I want to do. So, Very good reasons, very good reasons. And um, when it comes to the position of welfare officer, there's a specific skill set and personality traits that are, you know, ideal for it. And do you think you have them and what are they, in your opinion? <laughs> Jeez, uh, the thing about welfare officer is it's such a unique job. Like, it's it's not like anything else really. You have to be someone who is just approachable and easy to talk to and someone that, I suppose, someone that students can trust because the whole idea of your job is that you're there for the students, that you're there to protect students and that you have their interests as your number one priority at the whole, all of the time. So if students feel that they can't come up to you, they can't approach you or they can't discuss their issues with you, then it's not exactly a good thing, is it? So I think you really need just to work at to be that person, to be the person that they can come to and that they feel they can trust as well, I suppose. You know, and that you'll, you'll know what to do or you'll know how to help or basically be there. Yeah. Okay, and um, can you tell us why students should vote for you on the 6th? <laughs> um, these are very easy questions. <laughs> I think the thing is I've become so involved quite recently in like all the campaigns that are running and everything and... Uh, like, it's, it's hard to say, you know, there's some amazing candidates running, but you have to, if you really want to do this, you have to put yourself out there and you have to say, yeah, you know, I can do this job. I, I can be there. I can be this in this role. And I feel like I have, I have good ideas. I have, I have the plans. I have the personality to suit it. But at the end of the day, like, there's no point being in the role unless you're actually extremely passionate about it, unless you're going to go in every day and you want to do the work and you want to be there and you want to help the students. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's the person that wants it the most and wants to, wants to do the job. And uh, have you got anything else to add at the very end? Oh, not much really now. I'd say the most important thing I could say is just best luck to all the other candidates, for sure. Like, there are some amazing people running this year. It's going to be very interesting. And I suppose for all the students that are watching this, just, just get out there and vote, because it's up to you who's going to be your students' union next year. So you have to have your say, and it's, it's just so important that you do. So it only takes about, like, 30 seconds to go, bring in your student card, um, you get your ballot papers, you pick who you want to see in the positions, and then it's done, and you have your say, you've, you've thrown your vote, and you've done what you can do. Okay, and thank you very much.